Today, I just wanted to show my love for my favorite strain. This right here is Permanent Marker and is by far my personal favorite strain. Obviously, it depends on the quality of how it's grown. Today, we have some from Alpha Pack and this is, it's smoking. That's all there needs to be said. This is very similar to the cut from Doja. I think it actually is the Doja cut. So Doja Pack were the ones who started the permanent marker craze. They were the first ones to distribute the strain permanent marker. It was bred by Seed Junkie. So huge shout out to Seed Junkie. He's made all kinds of amazing strains for us. Uh, Jealousy is one of those and Jealousy is a part of permanent marker. Permanent marker is a biscotti and sure back cross, which then they cross with the Jealousy. So tons of flavor uh one thing that i really love probably my favorite thing about permanent marker is how complex of a flavor it is you get some of the candy vibes you get a little bit of gassiness you get a little bit of earthiness um a little bit of floral there's just so many different tastes going on i think that is why permanent marker is so amazing to me i get really tired of the just straight candy strains but I also do need like that sweetness from time to time. So I don't know if I'm someone who could smoke OG every day. Um, I really do like OG. I love getting like just sloppy high like that, but it is not always the most conducive for getting things done. I feel like the high from permanent marker, it packs a punch, but you also get some of that like clarity and you're able to get things done. It's probably my favorite tasting strain and as far as effects go, it might also be my favorite strain. So pretty crazy that uh, it takes the top place for both of those. And yeah, I'm really curious to know what, what are your guys' favorite strains? Uh, Permanent Marker got strain of the year from Leafly in 2023. So I think that makes a lot of sense. It's definitely like the hottest thing out. And I think there's definitely a reason for that. I, I love candy strains, but I do get kind of burnt out if I smoke the same candy strain forever. It's like, it just gets tiring on my palate. Tiring? It gets, uh, I don't know, it's just not as enjoyable. Whereas the Permanent Marker, I would never not want to smoke the Permanent Marker always hitting. I really like that whole Sherb family, all the like RS11, Zope, uh, just all that kind of stuff. So it makes sense that Permanent Marker would be one of my favorite strands. I also really like Biscotti, so that makes sense. I actually don't know if I've had Biscotti in flower form, which is hilarious, but I've dabbed a lot of Biscotti from Wojo Wax, their daily Biscotti strain one of my favorite strains from them and like i said it all depends on who is growing and distributing this so i actually don't know who grew this batch but alpha pack is distributing it and shout out to the boy alpha man he's always got some great quality we're not even really into this joint at all and you can tell just pure white ash we've got a little bit of an oil ring going already looking beautiful smoking beautiful tasting beautiful Is there any strains out there that you guys are smoking on that you think I should try? Um, being in the Midwest, you don't have as many options as you do out in places like California, but we do get a lot of fire here. Uh, my homie Milky is starting his brand. He's got some candy strains that he's working on right now, so we're gonna see where all of that goes. Like I said, Alpha Pack, uh, he's got the permanent marker on deck. He's got a lot of the uh, Sherby flavors. He's also had Jealousy. so. A little bit different flavor profile from him which is cool and then we got the boys over at luxury exotics uh, which they are starting to incorporate more of those sherby types of strains into their candy based strains so really cool to see what all is going on over there i haven't tried any of the luxury strains in a while so i'm looking to get my hands on some of those in the next few months and i also need to hit the dispo and uh, check out some of the newer doja pack strains like Sweet Retreat, uh, Candy Coffins. There's been a lot of stuff that they've dropped that looks really appealing, sounds really fire, that I've not got to try yet. Another one close to Permanent Marker that has been gaining popularity recently is the Sherb Banger. So <coughs> I don't like the Sherb Banger as much as Permanent Marker, 
but it is super fire. It is really that blueberry gas, especially the one that I've been getting from Alpha Pack. The nose is just straight blueberries. Like it's crazy. You open up the bag and it just smells like you open a carton of blueberries. Uh, once you smoke it, you get a lot more of that gas, but the high from it is very similar to the permanent marker, I would say. And every batch I've had from him burn pure white ash. So um, I haven't had a bad batch of the Sure Banger yet. That kind of skews my opinion probably, but super fire definitely one of the best smoking strands out this year that i can think of effects wise like i'm already getting fried i haven't smoked anything today which is kind of rare uh it is 3 13 p.m and usually on days like this when i'm just sitting at the crib working before i go into actual work i get high so uh, this is definitely a more extended period so it makes sense that i'm getting pretty fried right now but i am definitely i am definitely slapped right now And we are about halfway through this. Ash looking impeccable. I've been smoking it a little too fast for the oil ring to really set in, so that's that's my fault. But you can tell it's there. Taste wise, uh, still tasting amazing. No difference in taste between the start of the joint or halfway through. We also have no harshness. Um, I have a little tiny scratch in the back of my throat, but that could be just from some of the oil seeping into it because I'm smoking it too fast. But overall, man, the permanent marker by Alpha Pack is my favorite strain that I have smoked in I don't know how long. Uh, there's nothing else that I can think of that is better than it, in my opinion. Obviously, this is very subjective because this is my favorite strain. This is the one for me. So shout out to Alpha Pack, man. Let me know down below if you guys have a contender for strain of the year for 2024. I really don't. I think maybe Sure Banger could get it. Uh, I feel like it's one of the strains that I've heard talked about more than anything else and one that's like actually new on the scene. But other than that, I don't know of, I can't really think of any strains that have really, really taken off like Permanent Marker and uh, like Sure Banger have in the last couple years. Other than like, obviously Runs has still been on its crazy run, but I think most of the people are, I think a lot of people enjoy smoking runs and candy flavors like the lemon cherry gelatos. People really like that, but I do think the hype is gone from it now. Um, if you go to an event with people selling exotic weed, 90% of the bags are going to be runs or LCG. So while it is exotic and exclusive, I guess, uh, it's not really that exclusive when everyone has it so that's why like finding the sherby strains is really cool because not a ton of the people have sherby strains right now obviously like doja pack does sea junkie uh his main line carries some of those um but i'm kind of curious to see what the next trend will be i think i will stay in the sherby family i think the sherb family will always be kind of my favorite lineage of weed but i'm really curious to see like if we have any gas that comes back and takes over and that's why i thought the sure banger was so interesting is because you get some of that gassiness back and uh, everyone like you hear all the ogs on podcasts talking about no pun intended but they just want some og and they can't find it or if they do it's like crazy expensive like elephants grow like thousand dollars a zip type of stuff um so i'm curious to see if that like if og will make a comeback as far as my understanding, I don't know really anything about growing weed, but it seems like OG is a really hard strain to grow. And it seems like it yields less. So there's a lot less incentive for growers to grow it in comparison to stuff like candy strands, which produces a pretty good yield. Uh, they know people are going to want and it's going to be an easy sale. So. That is kind of one downfall of the weed market is growers have to grow what is popping and <coughs> if they're growing something that's super small batch then it's just crazy expensive so i don't know i respect the people out there who get their money like elephants growth and all these like super small batch brands i think that's really cool and i do think it should be appreciated like art i do wish more growers would take chances on strands that they don't know for sure are going to work out or not but i understand why like that's a lot easier said for my position because these growers have to put food on their table for them and their families so i don't know it's a weird position to be in 
I hope we see some more creativity. I feel like everything has been just so candy based. So I'm waiting on something new. Sure banger has been a nice one. Uh, the permanent marker, I think, I think this is a crazy statement, but I think permanent marker will probably be my strain for the rest of my life. Like, I don't know. I've just never smoked anything like it. The first time I smoked the Doja pack permanent marker, I, it was my favorite strain instantly. I smoked like a half pound of it in a, like a relatively short amount of time and I've smoked like a half pound of this permanent marker from alpha pack and whoo it it is just the one um especially obviously like it has to be grown right if it's not grown right then it doesn't matter what strain it is it's not gonna be smoking but yes permanent marker is my favorite so I just wanted to show it some love talk about some different strains with you guys see your guys's opinions on strains talk about the like candy versus gas a little bit and yeah, I'm, I'm really curious, like, if you guys think there's a strain out there that is going to take over this year or has taken over this year or just a strain that I should try in general. So if there is, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is. And if you guys have made it into this point, and if you guys have made it to this point in this video, thank you so much. We will see you next time. Have a good one.